Hey guys, Brooke Walker here. We are three weeks out from the Olympia and I cannot believe it. So as you guys are aware, I have left Arkansas, my home, Conway, Arkansas, and I am in St. Petersburg, Florida right now, finishing out my prep where I will fly to Vegas for the Olympia in like two and a half weeks. It's crazy. It's here. It's really happening. I'm super, super excited. I'm at been training at Pack Animal Fitness here in St. Petersburg, which I love. This is kind of my home away from home. Matt here, the owner, has been just phenomenal and he's just such a blessing to kind of help, help me finish out my prep here for these next few weeks, right? So today we're gonna kind of keep it simple. I'm gonna do some arms and some abs, right? So I asked you guys what we should film and a lot of you wanted some arms and abs training, which you know what, I'm all for that. I like arms, I like training arms. Some people don't, I actually prefer it. So. I'm big, especially we're three weeks out, so I'm not gonna be building insane amounts of muscle at this point, so I'm going for blood flow. So I am gonna do lots of giant sets, supersets, drop sets, things like that. Just focus on getting as much blood into the muscle as possible, right? Without injuring yourself, which hopefully I won't injure myself training arms. Hopefully, you know, never say never. Anyways, but again, three weeks out, we're gonna do some arms and some abs training. You guys let me know what you think, okay? If you like it, great. Subscribe to my YouTube. If you don't, you don't have to subscribe and you can put a mean comment if you need to. But anyways, all right, so we're gonna do some arms and abs here at Pack Animal Fitness. Three weeks out from the Olympia and I'm bringing my best. My energy feels good today, but it varies day to day. So one day it's not good and then the next it's awesome. So just kind of taking it each day as it comes. Um, a little update for you guys on my prep here. My cardio has been increased. It's kind of at 90 minutes a day right now. Woo, gee whiz, you know. But the nice thing about that is, guys, so a lot of people have conflicting views on cardio. Obviously, people don't wanna do normal amounts of cardio during their prep. However, sometimes it is what it is and it happens. So clearly, I haven't been doing 90 minutes since day one of my prep. That is not the way I have been doing it. We've kind of gradually increased. Here we are three weeks out. We have some high cardio days and then we have some days where we back off and we do no cardio. So at this given moment, it's 90 minutes. I split that up into two sessions, an AM session and a PM session, excluding all my leg days. I won't do any faster cardio on my leg days, right? Gotta keep those legs fresh, kind of hold on to as much muscle on my legs as possible while bringing in the conditioning, but I don't wanna look stringy on stage. Anyways, foods at an all time low, right? Which again is kind of to be expected at this point. So we have a lot of low carb days and then we do have some high carb days depending on how I'm looking, right? So Matt, my coach is here in Florida. I'm actually gonna go drive and see him tomorrow so we can kind of get our game plan in effect and he can kind of kick my butt for um, legs, right? So I'm gonna give him those reins and he can kind of whip me into shape, right? For this last little bit. So watch, subscribe, like, don't like, whatever. Arms and abs, pack animal fitness, three weeks out from Olympia.
Love it. arm pumps for days. All right guys, so a lot of you ask my ab routine. Um, I keep it super, super basic when it comes to abs. I will be honest, my abs are kind of like, um, I think I had them since, since birth, to be honest, right? So I've always had a good abdomen. Um, so I'm super, super fortunate and super, super blessed when it comes to that. But I do still train abs, I just keep it very, very basic. So. This like $7 ab wheel that you can get at Walmart is probably one of the best inventions known. Um, I wish I would've came up with it. Anyways, it is a staple in my ab routine. If you guys have been kind of following around, uh, following along throughout my Olympia journey, you know that I do implement this in my ab training. So I'm gonna keep it basic, two movements, ab rollouts, and some decline sit-ups, right? Go until you can't, I like to keep the volume high, 15 to 20 reps, or you know what? If you're just starting and the I roll it's hard for you and you can only do five reps, that's okay. Start there, build your way up, right? It shouldn't be easy. If it was easy, we'd all be walking around with Brooke Walker abs. Just kidding. <laughs> all right, here we go, guys. Twenty reps, right? Two to three sets. Like I said, do what you can. If you're not able to do fifteen reps at first, and, the, and most people can't, guys. So, like, if you're just starting, ab roll ups are hard. So, if you're keeping your butt upright in the air, I always tell people no high risers. Keep that butt down. Keep your hips up. Butt stays down. Um, if you're not able to complete all the reps, it's okay. Do what you can, and then build your way up, right? Like I said, if it were easy, everybody would do it, but it does get easier, but you gotta stay consistent and make sure you're training in order for it to get easier. Have you guys tried ab rollouts on your toes? Should I do them? Let's see. All right, let's, let's see if I can do it, I don't know. If I can't, we'll add it to the bloopers. I don't know if you guys should try this at home, but we shall see. All right. All right, I'm gonna do four more, maybe. Five, five ab roll outs a day. That's all it takes to get abs like these, right? Just kidding. But try it, 
Let me know what you guys think, right? Ab roll out, do what you can. I did 20 reps and then I did five reps on my toes. Guys, I obviously don't implement the whole like standing on my toes ab roll out, but it's just for fun, right? But if you wanna try it and see if you can do it, do it, let me know what you think. And moving on, right? So I'm using one of those great glute ham bench thingy contraptions, you know, that everybody uses in CrossFit. But if you can see I'm not doing glute ham, reverse raises, whatever, hypers, I am doing sit-ups off of them. So if you have one of these, or if you have a decline bench at your gym, I definitely recommend it. Like I said, two staples in my ab routine is ab rollout and decline sit-up, or I'll do sit-ups off the the glute ham, little hyper reverse hyper contraption, right? Same kind of rep count. I'm gonna go anywhere from 15 to 20 reps, just depending on how I feel. Go until you can't, right? And use that method whenever you're doing anything. So in order to really grow the muscle, develop the muscle, you need to be going until you can't, right? Failure in bodybuilding or weight training, lifting is, is good. Obviously with, within reason. I'm not saying failing because you've hurt yourself and you've sacrificed form. I'm saying failing because you're pushing yourself while still maintaining form, but you're pushing the muscle to complete and utter failure exhaustion, right? So same concept with abs. I'm gonna go until I can't, so we'll see how it goes, right? 15 and 20 reps, give it a shot. Oh, almost felt like I wasn't gonna come up on that last one, but I did. Woo! Last set. Last set's your best set. So I say. That's a wrap, guys. Little arms and abs with Brooke Walker. 10 minutes and you will get shredded abs like this, right? Olympia level, contest lean. That's all you have to do is three sets of ab rollouts, three sets of decline sit-ups, and you will have shredded abs. Just kidding. In all reality though, guys, that's all it takes. Simple wins. Abs, I always kind of tell people, my clients, anybody that's kind of asking me for advice, Consistency, right? That's what's gonna help you. So if you're only doing two ab workouts, um, that's fine. You just need to make sure you're doing two workouts consistently, right? So abs are kind of fair game. I will tell people if you wanna throw them in at the end of your workout a couple times a week, that's fine. The only time I would tell you not to necessarily train abs is if your abs are abnormally sore. If they're sore, give them another day to recover. If not, they're probably fine to hit a couple exercises at the end of your workout if you want to, right? There's no right or wrong way. Just make sure they're getting done and go until you can't. Start basic. If these two exercises are too advanced for you, that's okay. You can do crunches, you can start off with planks and then kind of build your way up. So do what you can, guys. The name of the game is consistency. So even if you're not where you want to be today, you can get to that point. You just gotta stay consistent. So even if a workout's not your best workout, consistently get those workouts in and they add up. That is progress. Be consistent, consistency wins.